Hey, it's Jack again, and in this video I'm going to talk about how to play with a metronome. Now, I prefer to use drum beat um, rather than a metronome. I just think it's a little cooler sounding. I don't know if it's worse or not, but hopefully it's not. <laughs> but anyway, uh, metronomes are real cheap to get. Some tuners have them built in. What I'm going to be using today is a uh, program called Leaf Drums and that's available online if you google it you can find it it's a drum machine for you can find uh, beat tracks actually uh, metronome tracks online even if you look around and I'm gonna have some different stuff posted up on my website also for mp3s the only problem with that is you can't really change the tempo but I can put them you can find them in different increments so you can kinda change them that way so let's just uh, talk about it first always wanna start slowly just about anything, anyone that you uh, listen to that's going to talk about playing stuff, playing any kind of passages, you want to start slowly because you want to minimize mistakes, you want to play really, really cleanly. The more times that you do it cleanly, the more your mind is going to remember that and it's going to make it easier for you to play the same thing faster, cleanly. Which of course is your object, unless you want to play sloppily, you know, then have at it. So, again, you know, the old school punishment, I don't even know if they do this anymore, but, you know, writing, I will not talk in class a thousand times, that's really going to bend something into your head, and the same thing is true. So, if you want to do it every day for five or ten minutes, I think that's much better than for you to do it for three hours on a Saturday. It's going to help you remember it better, and it's just a better practicing idea because it gets every day you're getting it bent into your head. So... The uh, different types of notes that you play, I'm going to go over a couple of ones, eighth notes, sixteenths, or triplets, or sextuplets. I think you should definitely vary those, especially even if you just go between uh, triplets and sextuplets. In other words, counting one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There's lots of different reasons for that. One of them is that at any tempo you should be able to play something pretty fast, and also it's just a different feel and the variation of your rhythm when you're playing solos or making melodies I think is something that's very important uh, as much as what the note choice is or how your chords lay out and that kind of thing so again practice slowly but of course eventually you're going to want to increase tempo now there's a couple different ways that you can go about this the first one would be to practice at the same tempo for the entire week and then the next week you increase the tempo and you keep going that way Another technique would be to, like, let's say you're going to practice for a half hour. So you practice for two minutes at one tempo, or you can make something up. Like sometimes I'll think to myself, okay, i got to play this eight times without making a mistake. Then I know I'm playing it cleanly. Then you increase the tempo, and you keep doing that, and you increase the tempo, and you increase the tempo until it starts to make mistakes. Once you reach that, then you kind of know, okay, this is where I'm, uh, I can't go this fast. Then you back it off and then you practice at that tempo that you can go. Now, as far as increasing the tempo, well, how much? Well, most metronomes and drum machines that I'm aware of go by beats per minute or BPM. Um, a very slow tempo would be like 60 beats per minute. A very fast tempo would be 150 beats per minute. Anything above 150, you're really starting to get crazy. Most of the guys that are really, really good technique can play in, ex in excess of 200 beats per minute. Um, I would stick to probably about five beats per minute as far as your increasing uh, increments, whatever you want to say, your building blocks. So in other words, if you're playing something at 60 beats per minute, then you increase it to 65, then you increase it to 70, then you increase it to 75. Now it's going to change depending on what kind of notes you're playing. If you're playing three notes for every click and you increase it five beats per minute, that might not be as bad, but if you're playing six notes, obviously that's double, or if you're playing four notes, so you'll, you'll get the idea, but it's always better to go slowly. If you find that you're jumping the metronome up and then all of a sudden you're getting sloppy really quickly, maybe don't jump it up as much. But using the metronome is not just good for playing your scales and practicing those, but if you're trying to figure out a solo or you're trying to play someone solo, uh, it's a great technique. There's a couple different ways to do it. Typically what I'll do is I'll figure out the chords first of all because that are behind the solo because those are always good to know anyway. You want to play rhythm, you want to be a, a, a guitarist that can just play both rhythm and lead, not just one or the other in my opinion anyway. 
it makes you more well-rounded and it lets you have fun in more situations. So maybe the, the original song tempo is at say 130 beats per minute and you're trying to play this solo. Slow that thing down man, slow it down to like 80 beats per minute, lay out your rhythm. I'm going to have another video about how to make jam tracks and, and that kind of thing. There's a lot of different ways to do it that are real easy nowadays. And then play the solo at 80 beats per minute and get that thing super clean. I mean, so that it's like, you know, unbelievably effortless because that's really what you want to do. Because if when you're playing it, if you intend to play the thing live in front of people, you know, you're going to have a lot of other things to think about and you don't want to be thinking about where your hand goes. Then you can bump it up the same way you would with the solo. I mean, with the scale. Let's play a couple of things. Here, just to give you an idea of how you should be doing it, I have my metronome set at 60 beats per minute. It's really slow. And I'm going to go over some eighth notes and uh, triplets and sixteenth notes. And I might do six tuplets, but I'm a little rusty. And I'm just going to be using a basic A minor uh, scale. So you got one, two, three, Four. So for eighth notes, it's two beats per two notes per beat. One way to count that is to put an and in the middle. This so I'm going to be covering them when I do chords. One and two and three and four and. Okay, triplets. Triplets is going to be three. There's a couple ways you can count those. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Or one triplet, two triplet, three triplet. At one is always going to come down on the beat. So that's going to sound like this. Okay, you get the idea. Again, if you're having trouble playing with it, just go slowly, even if you have to slow it way down. One, two, three, two, two, three. Three, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. And you can see this is only 60 beats per minute, and it's not that fast. And already it's kind of hard for me to say that out loud. That's why that first note is really important. One, two, three, four. Because when you're getting up to the higher tempos, that's going to be where you're going to be hitting your accents. And that's gonna how you're gonna be able to keep time because you're not gonna be able to count that fast. Now, one way is if you're especially if the tempo gets faster and you're trying to do fours, I'll just start off hitting the rhythm on one note on the top string, say like this. And then it's going to go. If it's too hard for you, you can do four beats on each note. Whatever really locks it in, because it's important when you're first starting, before you even attempt to do scales and stuff, at least in my opinion, again, is to beat this thing into your head so that you know you can play a rhythm at any point uh, in at least those three eighths and, and triplets and sixteenths. So you can see I started with the triplets first to kind of get the feel and then the sixes are double the speed. Again, that's really impossible to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you need to have that first chunk, 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 accenting that first one, which is going to lock that's you into it. That's going to do it for the metronome. If you have any questions, go ahead and um, send me a message or email me on my website. And thanks again for checking this out.